This is KTMA TV 23, Minneapolis, St. Paul. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different than you or me. He worked in a satellite loading bay, just polishing switches to pay his way. He did his job well with a cheerful face, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. We'll send him cheesy movies, the worst ever made. Joe says when you got lemons, you make lemonade. Now keep in mind he can't control when the movies begin or end. Because he used the extra parts to make his robot friends. Robot roll call gamma. Servo. Gypsy. Crow. If you're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts. Just to beat yourself, it's just the show. I should really just relax. For Mystery Science Theater 3000. Welcome, thanks for coming back to Mystery Science Theater 3000. This is Gypsum, this is Crow, my robot <laughs> friends. And you know, outer space is really an excellent place to develop new projects and new ideas. Like this is a new invention I made for farm people. Uh, it's a martial arts device called uh, Numclux. <laughs> hey, bring it in a little bit, Cambot. Come on in a little bit. This is a thing I came up with. Uh, I also programmed the robots to laugh at everything that was relatively funny. It, it helps out. Anyway, this is a thing I developed for people who are robbing banks. Normally, I can't advocate the use of weapons, but uh, this will help. This special silencer clips onto a gun, and it suddenly allows the uh, bank robber to communicate more clearly, all right? I want you and you and everybody in the place over there except maybe you and you and you but other than that everyone else goes over there get it fellas? <laughs> oh, very clever okay. Joel Hudson <laughs> thanks Crow this last thing is a thing I invented for people who are suffering from back or neck pain it's called the Cairo helmet and it demonstrates like this We got movie sign guys. Oh, no. This next movie is called Star Force, and it even has humans in it. They're Japanese. Be right back. Oh yeah, okay, um, so the Pilgrims first came to America in a gigantic green and yellow moving van in, until they bumped into a Plymouth and, and then they got out of the van and took turns starving. Starving. <laughs> uh, yeah, starving. Uh, I, I don't know why they didn't just pop open a pack of freeze-dried smoky links like Joel does. Take flesh. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey Joel Hodgson. I was just taking the liberty of explaining Thanksgiving to Gypsum. Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes, uh, Joel Hodgson. We don't get the part after when they sat down with the Indians and ate mace. Uh, mace. Oh, no, the, it's not mace. Uh, it's maize. Maize is a, a Native American word for corn. You mean they would spray corn in each other's face during protest? No. Okay. No, no uh, but that's pretty close. Uh, I got to listen. I got to go work on the uh, satellite reflector shields and uh, 
You keep teaching Gypsum about Thanksgiving. I think okay. you're doing great. Thanksgiving. Hey, Cambot, bring it in a little. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is the best part. Then Miles Standoff and the Prince Queen Pocahontha loaded the turkey catapults and started pelting the Nina, the Pinto, and the Santa Maria. Santa Claus! Uh, uh, yes, yeah, Santa Claus. Uh, and Santa that's why we have to start shopping uh, right away after Thanksgiving. <laughs> See, that's, that's how it works. <laughs> to spend tens of dollars on this. Fantastic! Good work, Ken! This is no time to start cheering. Chances are they've reported our position to their headquarters. Probably any minute now, the sky will be full of wolf attackers. Captain Joe, you've got to act quickly. Let's get away! Colonel, you're ruling? There's only one guy in charge here. That guy's yours truly. Dan. Yes, sir. Get him out. Yes, sir. So you see, that's why uh, the, their mouths move funny on the film because it was shot in Jap Japan, Japan. And uh, mm. yeah, it's like a Godzilla movie. Shot in Japan oh. and they re dubbed the voices so they don't always fit. What's this on your mouth? Grow, man. Do those guys got you? The boys are getting you to Grow, did it. Boys. That's stupid. I don't Grow. think it's, it doesn't make any sense Not that me. you should do that. They're just trying to emulate what drugs are like on Earth. What are drugs? Uh, well, it's just something people take to alter their sensibilities. It's, I guess uh, the thing that made the most sense about it was Salvador Dali, this great surrealistic painter, said, I don't take drugs, I am drugs. That's pretentious. Uh, yeah, it's kind of pretentious, yeah, you could say that. But um, I knew you guys would be wondering about this sooner or later, so I made these uh, glasses that will help oh. simulate that. So you put these on. You can bring it in, Cambot, here a little bit. You put these on, and it's go. It's real trippy. Oh, I'm freaking. Help me. Please, excuse me. Let me can drive. I go to the bathroom? Let me the drive. walls are exposed. Yeah, okay. I'll show you what I mean. See, so put that on there like that. See? Is it doing anything? No. Okay, well, let's show you like this. You know how I put uh, a motion detector in your uh, exoskeleton? Yeah, I do. Okay, it's, it's kind of like this, okay? This is what drugs are like for a human being. Whoa, man! Whoa! Like that. See, cool! See Whoa! Whoa! Oh, ma. Bad trip! Yeah. Bad trip! We got movie signs, movie better get time. going. Movie time. It's the high-tech saga of a futuristic fighter. Everyone wants a piece of his action. Celebrities Feature Creatures presents the high-gloss tale of the fugitive alien. Watch the supercharged suspense as our star battler fights off rulers of planets and evil wolf raiders in his relentless search for freedom in space. And our hero's not doing so well in the romance department either. A lover's quarrel has sent his sweetie on a mission to decapitate her deserting suitor. It's a high voltage story of wizards of weaponry set in the skies of the intergalactic future. Now available on home video, it's the fast-paced space chase of the fugitive alien.